I have the glasses oh, on because we're going lens. we're going professor mode right now. Oh, good. Point versus relative humidity. Dr. Holt is here. Yes, yes. No, um, <laughs> So uh, dew point, I always harp on it. It's the best indicator for how it feels outside. And the reason why is that uh, it's independent of the air temperature where relative humidity is got an inverse relationship to the temperature. So on this graph here, the yellow and orange lines as the air temperature goes up in the day, the relative humidity goes down. The green line, that's the dew point. There may be a little change in it, but it's relatively, no pun intended, constant throughout the day. So I wanted to just show what today looked like with the relative humidity. Near 100% this morning. Watch what happens into the afternoon though. Was there that much of a change in the humidity? 54% down from 100. Watch the dew point, 80 this morning, 3 p.m., 79, not a whole lot of change. And that's why the dew point is superior to relative humidity when we're talking about how it feels outside. The relative humidity, in my opinion, has a much better uh, play on things like fire weather concern, not how it's feeling outside. Feels like 115, dew point up in the upper 70s. It's 98 degrees. And we've got that high pressure to our west, a lot of heat related advisories across the state. And that high is going to be something that we have to deal with through the rest of this week, through the weekend and into most of next. This is going to take us all the way through the weekend. And you see not a lot of action in South Texas. We're going to be awfully quiet and we're going to remain very hot over the next seven days, mid to upper 90s in the daytime. Heat indices is going to fluctuate a little bit from day to day. We might see a little drop on Saturday. That would be a function of the Saharan dust that we've been watching coming into our atmosphere. That dust is all in the main development region of the Atlantic, starting to get into the Western Caribbean. Little chance for development in the Atlantic. That's not going to be a problem for the US. Again, back to the dust. We're watching this little plume and that looks to come in as early as Thursday and it will linger here through Friday and Saturday. Maybe even a little more haze on Saturday before we get a little break Sunday and more headed our way next week. So do prepare for the Saharan dust allergy like symptoms and hazier skies Thursday, Friday, little uptick on Saturday and then a decrease on Sunday before more arrives into next week. Tonight 80, a few clouds out and about southeast breeze 6 to 12 miles per hour. Tomorrow 98 with the heat index of 117. Southeast breeze going to be a little more persistent 13 to 23 miles per hour. So there will be uh, some more chop on the waters 85 on the sea surface temperatures and three foot waves at a five second period on the Gulf facing beaches. Uh, so again, we're going to add that Saharan dust into the forecast Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then more into next week. And then the heat, those uh, heat index 115 mm. plus on some days. Mm. Dew point superior to relative Pay attention humidity. to the dew point. That's what mm -hmm. I learned. Got right a there. dew point there. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. It's good. No, Every it's fine. now and then I can serve up a pun, mm -hmm. but it doesn't it's hit this. It's good. I'm going to have to use that. Anyway, summer online shopping. <laughs>